Dann.
this. The Gamay Mess. A likely story. I gave you a ride, and what did you do? You took me for a ride. Off with you. Hurry on, you lazy lot. These vegetables aren't going to kill themselves. And when you finish, this is Tilbury. Come quickly. There's someone lying on our doorstep. He looks bad or well. Well, I won't have my door being cluttered by riffraff. Fetch my broom. I got some sweeping to do. Pity she won't use her broomstick to fly out of here. Why, you cheeky beggar? You've got some nerve. What's this, Mrs. Tilbury? Or should I say, who is this? Why, it's a child, a girl, no less. Well, we're not going to leave her warming the doorstep, are we? Prepare a better please, Mary. It will have to be in the attic, I'm afraid. Of course, Master James. I'll prepare it right away. What's her name, then, Jeeves? This new girl. I believe, Gross, her name is Kitty. I also believe that Mrs. Tilbury has taken her under her wing. Under Mrs. Tilbury's wing? A stinky place to be. Make no mistake, we must look out for her. Mrs. Tilbury won't be pleased with another poor street urchin under her feet. And as for that rat infesting attic, poor Kitty will be sleeping in. She's got her work cut out for her. I'll tell her to go fetch herself some mouse traps from the market. Looks like Cheryl has found herself a furry friend. Oh, isn't he perfect? I caught him down by the dock. Come on, we'll take it to Bar Marcus and flog it. Flog it? Why would we beat it before we sell it? Oh, Greta, you really hit some branches when you fell from the tree. <laughs> you even made that poor Kishi wishing to seem bright. Thanks for coming with me. If I don't find something to get rid of those rats and mice scampering across my bed every night, I'll go out of my mind. Gosh, what a finely dressed cat, and just what you need. Staring is rude. Any child of good breeding should know that. Did he just speak? I'm talking about someone instead of to someone is even ruder. I also happen to be in the middle of a conning escape plan, so if you kind... You're wonderful. Please don't go. I can help you. I happen to have a supply of the finest, freshest mice in all of London. Will you come with us? I shall come and sample the menu first, then we just might have a deal. Well, I never. Look who has made it to town after all, and pilfered her cat. Maybe she's gone a little streetwise after all. You better watch out, Kitty Whittington. How have you been stepping in, Kitty? Oh, wonderfully, especially since the arrival of my new cat, Mr. Bobels. He's gotten rid of every single mouse in the attic. My father, Mr. Fitzwarren, is merchant ship sales for Africa at dawn. We would like to offer you the chance to sell something. One of your belongings. Everybody send something. Give your item to Groves and they'll pack it all up. Oh, thank you for the offer, but... Great, I'd better be off. But I don't have a single thing in the world to sell. Well, that sounds rather exciting. <laughs> I do love a long voyage. What do you mean? Are you saying you want to go? Well, I don't imagine you have anything else to sell. But I don't want to sell you. Besides, are you even mine to sell? No, I'm not. But I know when somebody needs a helping hand. But I'll miss you. Of course you will. But you'll hear from me again. Mark my words. Just promise me that you'll give a new life for everything you've got. Come on and help me pack. I'm telling you, ma'am. She's trying to wrap James around her little finger. Yesterday I saw him teaching Kitty the piano. Last night he even knocked on her door to check on her. Apparently she's got mice again. Now that stupid cat is gone. Well, stop whinging to me and do something about it. Well, I can't very well force him to like me. And all the other staff just love her. Use your wit, child. You're not going to Mom, good looks. But at least you've inherited to my brain. Just get rid of her. Oh, don't worry. I've already set those wheels in motion. Oh, Mr. Groves, Mr. Jeeves, just a minute of your time, please. We seem to be missing some kitchen silverware, candlesticks, and even Master James's watches disappeared. My goodness, Paula, are you quite sure? 
Oh, yes, Mr. Groves. And unfortunately, I think I may know the culprit. Follow me, if you will. Um, one moment. Come in. Kishi, Paula seems to think, I mean, Paula tells me that, well, I don't suppose you have to have some in the kitchen so far in James's watch, do you? I, well, yes, but it's not what. I didn't take them. Somebody else must have put them. Really? That would be a rather odd thing to do. Well, let me have the watch back and I'll take it back to Master James. Oh no, but then he'll think that I stole it from him. Are you going to tell him? Well, we have to tell him something. We'll talk more about this tomorrow, Kissy. Night, night, Kissy. Oh, what next? First, Mr. Bobo's leaves, then the return of the rats and mice. And now James will think I'm a thief. He's one friend I've got left here. That's it. I'm going back to the orphanage. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. 